Hello everyone, welcome back. So we have the twin 200 A's. I got these as a pair and they're both dated two of 72, which I'm going to assume they will purchase together and um, they stay together their whole life. And I did a video on these. I'll put a clip in now. These are the twin 200 A's. They're both dated two of 72. So they must have been bought as a pair. These are not going to be restored. What I'm going to use these for are parts. So they're both in very similar condition. And I said I was not going to restore them. I was going to use them for parts. And I know a lot of you, when you're probably watching that, were laughing at me saying, yeah, right. Well... <laughs> I ended up getting a globe from my buddy, um, and I put it on one, and then um, he said he had another one. He's still looking for it because he's got a big old barn full of stuff, and it's in there somewhere. And then in the interim, I had, if you saw my latest Coleman Finds video, I picked up an LP that um, I'm going to make a franken lantern out of and i i snatched the globe from that one for the other one so let me show you a couple things that i noticed on these everything cleaned up nice Frames came out really nice. Ventilators have a couple little chips, which is totally fine. Now check this one out. Hopefully you can see that. The air intake tube, which I cleaned at the same time I did this one, lost almost all its nickel, which I've never had happen before. But I'll tell you what, I think it looks pretty cool. Also, one of these uh, burner caps, actually this one, it was so, the actual interior of it was perfect, but the outside see if I can get a closer shot of that if you could see that I had to actually I didn't have to but there was all casting like I don't know what you want to call it but there, it, it just wasn't cast properly and personally if it was me I would have discarded it um, but hey they put it on I guess save money so I ended up putting this into my um, drill press and with a, uh, a small needle file, I cleaned all that up. But otherwise, it was just a regular uh, restoration like I've shown you before. So let me get some mantles on these. Let me get some fuel in them, and we're going to light them up. All right, we got the mantles on. We got them pumped up, fueled up. Got them primed. Got my little cool pencil torch I got from uh, my lantern guy. Let's see how this works out. Oh, there she goes. Give it another, give it another pump. Turn this off. Let me get this 
so. Come on, baby. You just lit. Don't fail me now. Noise. Noise, Captain Noise. All right, let's get this other one going. And there you have it, the twin 200 A's. Let's try to get these gloves on without burning myself. Ooh, that gets hot real quick. Real quick. Voila! <laughs> Beautiful! I definitely dig them. Yeah, I, I, I just couldn't. I couldn't see just trashing them. <laughs> well, not so much trashing them, but using them for parts. I got a little smoke coming out of here. It's probably from whatever cleaner I had left on that vent but uh, yeah they are running beautifully nice well there you have it folks the two 200A two of 72 twin lanterns that I wasn't going to restore that are restored <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it folks like always, I'm going to say it. I'm sending you all much, much love and appreciation, my brothers and sisters. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're staying well, and we'll see you on the next one.